Hello and welcome to this edition of Biology Bites. Now today I'm talking about following bass by water temp. And the key water temp is in fact 65. Now it's either on its way up to 65 or on its way below 65. And that is in the spring and the fall. In the winter and the summer months, I don't really follow water temp and don't really care. When you get in the winter, if it's 52 one day and 53 the next, or 53 one day and 49 the next, it's winter, it's pretty stable. Bass can be doing what they're doing. It's a stable time of year. Same thing in the summer. When you get into you know, June, July, August, and ever, I don't care if it's 85 degrees, service tent one day, and 79 the next and that. It's stable, they're gonna be doing what they're doing. I don't really care. But when you get into the spring and the fall, and it gets, and 65, like I said, is the trigger point. Either it's on its way up to 65, or it's on its way down from 65. And the key point is 58, 59. In the spring, around 58, 59, they're going into full-on pre-spawn mode. And I'm gonna look for them where they're gonna be pre-spawning, staging areas, all that, because that's a trigger point. They, they're gonna start feeding as heavily as they can, knowing that soon it's gonna be up to 63, 65, and they're gonna spawn. When you get to the fall, when you get to 65, and it starts dropping below that, and you get to 50 or 59, that's going to trigger them to start feeding up for the upcoming winter. So you're going to start looking for them in all the traditional areas for the fall. So there you go. Following bass by the water temp. 65 is key, and it's either on its way up to it in the spring or on its way down to it in the fall. But after it hits 65, start watching carefully because once it gets to 58, that's going to set you up for either pre-spawn or feeding up in the fall for winter. I hope this helps. Until next time.